Hi, I'm Brent with Subsurface Solutions. I want to show you the new LMX 200. Uh, what this is is a ground penetrating radar. Basically, it beams the signal down at an RF frequency and it receives it coming up. Uh, the things that you want to watch out for, wet clay is going to hinder that. It absorbs it some. Um, when we get into rock, sand, uh, things that are less conductive, it's going to be able to beam down further and be able to hit off things. We're going to be looking for basically kind of like a fish finder, like parabola shape to be able to identify where the utilities are at. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to start um, a, uh, a new line. Um, I'm going to exit out of the, the what I have just done here and we're going to start um, line number three. I'm going to press start, go into a line scan mode, and I'm just going to look across uh, and just make kind of a weaving pattern back and forth looking for responses. When you do this, there's going to be this blue line or blue bar in the bottom. We want it to stay dark blue. If it's dark blue, that's a good sign. That means that you're going slow enough that you're getting good quality uh, GPR imaging. And so right here we can see, actually, if I keep going, we've got two responses right here. Now, there's an easy depth calibration that we can do. Basically, we just try to have it so we fit this curve. And that just makes it so that it's actually giving us a realistic idea of what the depth is. Um, and then we can zoom in to different depths. Here we're seeing about five to six feet of depth. Uh, we have gain. Gain is gonna go ahead and it's gonna really increase the contrast of this image. That helps you see things that are deep. So while it might make things that are shallower seem like it's a little too much, it can help you look for things that are in that deeper area. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to somewhere around three or four it's given us a pretty good sharp gain or sharp response right now. And we're gonna just see if we can continue, continue on and find any other lines. The frequencies that are being used by this ground penetrating radar, there's another line right here, are between uh, like 150 megahertz and 450 megahertz. That's helpful. Um, when we're out looking for utilities, High frequencies are great, they give us these sharp responses, uh, but they don't see very deep. Uh, so low frequencies, they're your friend when you're out there looking for utilities. If you're just looking underneath concrete for rebar or something, um, high frequencies are good, and the high frequency on this will do great with that. Uh, but if you want to find things that are out in the soil, we want to try to use these lower frequencies. What we're doing is we're actually using a broadband stream of frequencies and just combining them all together at once to make it easy. Um, that way we're just making a broad comb. So this is a multi-frequency device in the sense that it has this broad band. It's just displaying them all at once. That's what this Dyna-T all is. So this is what our higher frequency response is. They're smaller. They don't see quite as well in soil. And so that's where we're getting up into that 450 megahertz. Now we're getting uh, on our lower frequencies, medium. And then large will start to see deeper. The cool thing this does is this combines it all together. Um, and what these are are little excerpts that we can just drop along the way when we see something. You want to get rid of one, you press on it. And the cool thing that we have on this now is when I go back, we can look over these areas. I'm going to go ahead and continue on this line view on one more sweep back. And get some responses. Got a response here. I'm gonna leave a little, little drop. Response here. And a response here. What I can do is I can go to a split view. And I can actually see, we've actually done quite a lot and found quite a lot on uh, this area already. But I can zoom in and we can look at this area and we can see where we left all these pin drops and you can see that we've got lines running through this area that we're finding. Um, the other thing that we can do is we can go to a grid scan. Uh, a grid scan, what we do is it gives us kind of a, a heat map outlook um, where 
we just go back and forth over the line and it gives us four inch slice view increments. Um, right now the line scan view is doing so great, there's really not a reason to do that. If this line scan is working great, stick with it. Um, but uh, we're finding a lot of things throughout this property. Um, if you have any questions, uh, check us out on www.subsurfacesolutions.com. Thanks.